Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. We are going to talk about my Pen That Face palette for 2022-2023, and I have a little bit of progress this time. Not as much as I was hoping, but it is the summer, and I rarely wear face makeup in the summer because it is so hot. The last couple of weeks it has been in the low to high 80s, if you're in the States, and like anywhere between, say, 27 to 30 degrees something like that celsius so it's just been ridiculously hot and i don't like to wear stuff on my face i will throw a little bit of blush like i have today i just threw a little bit of blush but it's pretty much worn off so i haven't got as much use on this as i would have hoped but but i do have some progress so let's go ahead and talk about that Last month we were at 162.53 grams, of course, and this month we're at 161.26. So we've gone down a little bit. Um, this is where we're at right now. I was hoping to have this completed, but I have actually been trying to use a few different things and not really focusing on this because I kind of want to save this for when I need to create more um, contour powder because I do love the shade and I do mix the two of these together. So the next time I need to create this, I'm going to use the rest of this. And I have used it a few times, which is why it looks like there's a lot of usage in here. Um, but yeah, I most definitely need to finish this contour powder. So you can see I got a lot of the product away from here and starting to see little bubbles and pan showing in the bottom so it is thinning out again but it isn't obviously completed because I did put probably twice as much as I did the month before so I wasn't able to use all of this up in a month and also I'm using less makeup so it does look really good though I foresee this one being put into here at probably by next month's update maybe and if I need to if this is completed in the month of June I will do this and make this like contour shade again um, before I do my update. So I will post updates on Instagram if necessary, but I'm hoping to have this one completed and actually this one completed so that I can create this again by the end of the month, uh, like the end of May, no, end of June. So this is what we're looking for the end of May and I'm really excited. I was very, very happy to have this one out. And that was done on May 13th. So I'm really happy to have had this one out on May 13th. And I'm really happy to already have those two pans and this pan completed. Um, this one was done a month after uh, a month after the middle one. So this would have been February 27th completed. So there's four pans empty. This is a mixture of these two shades here. So once this is completed, I will grab from these two shades again and create my contour shade, which is a really, really beautiful, cool tone shade. It's just perfect on me right now. Just enough of a, a shadow that it's just a good effect. I really enjoy this color. I will need to add a hint more of the dark to it because I am starting to tan and use self tanner. But I mean, I'm very happy with the progress. I'm going to keep pushing. And this one is starting to at least show some really good wear. So I'm hoping I can have this done by the end of the year for sure. But I will have to keep like adding this with something else that's lighter to create a shade that's good for my skin shade. But I can use this when I'm really dark in the summer. So sometimes I won't need to combine it. Yeah, you guys get the whole idea. But I hope to have this completed this year. These two won't be a problem. It's this one that I'm worried about because it is like quite a bit darker than the other shade, but it is doable in the summer. So it's just quite a bit darker, but it's a beautiful, beautiful contour shade. So I will definitely um, combine that, but I probably won't. Like I said, I'll use more of this than I will of this, but I'm going to try and fill this pan and get this whole, this one completed. Because I really want to start seeing shiny pans in here and just have the two left. And then this one I'll have to combine with another item in another palette, which will be really great to get started on something like that. So, but that's everything. I don't want to keep this too, too long. So thank you guys so very much for watching. If you are so inclined to leave a comment and you don't know what to leave, I would just love a happy face or a sun with a happy face in it. Something that's cheery and bright and great for summer. I would just love to see that. It's just so nice to see 
like happiness and sunshine in the comments. So go ahead and leave that if you're not sure what to leave. But otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.